Hello YouTube. Today will be a tutorial video. I switched my one to zero. This tutorial I will be showing you um first of all first of all the last video that I did or a couple videos back, I did a video on how to activate Windows XP and it got really popular because of the virtual machine thing, the virtual PC thing. So I wanted to make a video about it. Not that not that it really got really popular, but it just got popular. It just got a hundred views in like maybe a day. That's pretty good for me, <laughs> I guess. All right, so um, you will need three things, but all three of these will be in the description. So don't stress. First, you will need an ISO burner or any type of burner, recorder, whatever. A Microsoft Virtual PC and Windows XP, the operating system. Basically, it's like a thing. I don't know. But make sure you have WinRAR. WinRAR. <laughs> um, I'm not going to show you how to download that, but just that's what you need to open it up with. So, what we need you first need to do is open up your ISO burner. Oops, oh yeah, I forgot. It takes a little while. Okay. So once you do that, just hit browse, desktop, and then find your file. So just to scan it or to put, burn it onto a disk, all you have to do is go to, um, let me see. Oh, yeah, go to Windows, the WinRAR Archive, Windows XP, and then I think it should not be here. Or it should be in a folder, and then you just um, once you scan it onto a disk, it'll become an ISO image. I think I'm I'm not even sure if I remember. Um, so basically, once you have, after you burn it, you want to you'll get you'll you want to just open up your um, DVD drive, which I can't open for some strange reason. I have no clue why. I have no clue why it's not opening. Anyway, so you open it up and then find the file. Um, w so once you get just drag the this file, it's the win this the ISO image out, and this is what you need. This is like the most important part. It's the operating system. This is Windows XP right here. This little icon is. Now the downloads like five hundred. Megs, so just it's not too big, but I mean, I don't know. All right, next you want to open up your virtual PC. Okay, this is okay. Now I have one already opened, but what we're gonna do is get a new virtual machine. Hit next. Use default settings. You can do a cr um, create a virtual machine, but I'm just gonna use default settings. And type in the name. We're just gonna type in Windows XP three or Windows XP. Okay, so then hit finish, and now this the settings will come up. You can use hard disk, memory, file name. I'm just going to put the memory, that, that's just what I want to keep it at. Um, you can change it. The most important thing that you need to do is make a hard disk, okay? So go to new virtual hard disk, next, 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 and then type in the name. We'll just type in new, we'll type in um, sports. Okay, so next, um, next, and then just type in the amount of space you need. Um, I'm just gonna put in 500. So next, finish. Okay, so it'll show you where you can get it. Now just go to virtual disk file. It should be in your documents. Um, so look for that. So there it is, and there you go. You have your hard disk. Now, why do you need this? I'll show you later. So when you're finished, hit OK, and here you go. You have your virtual PC or your thing. So now what you want to do, if you want to open it up, just double click on it, and you will get a emulator type thing. Now it's not really going to do anything, so just go to CD, 
capture ISO image, find your ISO file. We're just going to use this one. Then reset it. Okay, so oh, it's going to start coming up. Okay, so this is Windows Setup. Um, this is going to take the, probably the longest part. So I'm either going to just stay with you through the whole thing to sh show you what you should do and make it in like a lot of parts or skip some of it. So processing information file. Alright, so I'll say welcome to setup. This portion of the setup program proposed Microsoft R, Windows R, yeah, whatever. Alright, so hit enter. Alright, forget about this, just hit F8. Now, see this um, disk space? You need a disk space, or er, a hard disk. That's This is exactly the reason why you need a hard, or a hard disk. So just hit enter. Okay, so fin it fixed the problem that we had before, so just let's do this. Hold on. Alright, so once this happens, it'll come up with this. Just hit um, the third one down, and it'll start to format. So when this is finished, I will come back and I'll show you what's next. Oh, wait, it's pretty fast. Never mind. That was really fast. Okay, this is the part that will take a long time. So, I will come back to you when it finishes. Okay, so I'll see you later. So, it is... F sorry, guys. Alright, so it is finished with the up uh, or uh, doing whatever it was. So now what we're gonna do is just wait. Wait a while. Basically what it's doing now is installing Windows XP. So yeah. Just I think I'm just gonna stop it and then when it's just about to finish. Or Actually, you know, um, it's going to do some things with, um, you have to do. So, if you wanted to start this, just click like this, okay? And it'll get in. Now, how do you get out? Hit Control, Alt, Delete, and then Cancel. And then there you go. Um, so just wait, wait, wait. So, I'll show you when, what happens when the first window comes up. So see you later, bye. Alright, oh, so when you get to the um when it finishes start like it'll after a few minutes it'll start to um it'll bring up this window, this is virtual machine such and such. It just hit okay. You'll now you'll get this window. Now just hit next. Now you can type in your name, it's gonna type in my account name. And then just sit next. You don't have to do the organization. Okay. Now the product key. This comes with the um the rare archive that you had. So let me sh let me hold on. Let's get out of that real quick. Okay, so now we have let's bring it up. So just go to your um hold on. Go to your rare archive. Now go to Windows XP. Oh wait, sorry, no. Oh yeah. When you burned the disk, um just go to um let me think. You wanna go to the serial? Um I can't bring it up right now. So let me just bring it up right here. Okay, so open it up, and here's the serial code. Um, so just type that in.
Okay, so just hit next after that. Now you can type in the computer's name. I'm just going to type in my account name. Okay, then hit next. Okay, so now we'll bring, bring up the date and time settings. It should be all set. I mean, it's pretty much great. Next. 